There was a time when all fairies were big, but now they're small and live among us. In your home, you know the story. Everything is ordinary. Magic never happens, you suppose. That's because you have been caught him. Look around, you might just spot him. Fairies living right under your nose. We are your fairy teens. Exactly is going on here? We were trying some wizarding for Kate, Tertia. This Kate? Oh no, it's the human girl, Kate. Oh, the one who lives uh, in this room, Kate? She's scared to go to her new school, so we're helping her. It doesn't look like help to me. It's just Dreamy has spilled her dream by mistake. <gasps> uh uh, no way was it by mistake. Someone made me do it. What do you mean? This is what I mean. For September 1st, I decided I wanted to give Kate a good dream for school. If you dream good, your mood is good, right? I gathered all her favorite fairy tale heroes, added some surprise twists here and there, and then some laughter. But as I was putting the dream under her pillow, there appeared those pink balls. Ferrum, scarum. That was all you're doing, Esty. Why me? I didn't mean it, you know that. No, they did it themselves. Who needs those dreams of yours? Girls only need pretty dresses. And I thought if her dress was sparkly, then she wouldn't be afraid to go to a new school anymore. It was a sight for sore eyes, to say the least. But then, the sun struck the mirror in the powder case. And <gasps> boom, went all my poor powder. And it was all Letty's fault. Hmm, Letty, you say? Finally, now I can tell you in order what really happened. We decided to help Kate. We didn't agree on what was more important. Dreamy said it was dreams. Esty said it was clothes. But I believe the main thing is knowledge. So I decided to prepare a vitamin cocktail for Kate. I found a very scientific recipe to make thinking active and memory and attention stronger to help perform better in school. So I got all of the ingredients together and had to only gather some sunlight in a jar. That was the last stage. Suddenly... Ah! Oh, what a mess! Fenty's wild book had to spoil it all. It's all your unscientific nonsense. It's not nonsense. It was sad. Sad? What was? The book. I wanted to get Kate's things ready. Make them all sweet. Let's go. On to school now. Be a faithful tool now. Yep. <gasps> Aw. Aw. You poor one. You're so alone. Aw. Don't worry. We'll make you happy. Letty! Esty! Dreamy! Let's play Dino! Sorry, I don't have time. Right? That's all right. We'll just have fun without them. No big deal. Hey, what's wrong? <laughs> Want to ruin everything on purpose, it just 
ended up that way. It always just happens with you. What will become of my cocktail now? And how about my dress? And my dream? There you go again with your nonsense. The knowledge. No one needs your knowledge. <gasps> what do they need then? Your what pictures? About my dress? <gasps> that is quite a tornado. Ugh. So what shall I do with this now? It looks like we're gonna have to check the email meter. <laughs> I wonder, is it due to the dull weather? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no, my wings, they seem to have disappeared. What did you expect? Magic needs good emotional conditions to work correctly. <sighs> do you see what's happened because of it? Doom and gloom. Yes, we shouldn't leave it like this. What will happen when the humans come back? It's not our fault. The barometer has pointed to bad weather since this morning. Of course it has. The human girl is afraid to go to her new school. <laughs> this is why it all turned murky, but you... But we made it even worse. It's all Letty's fault. She always bosses us around. In fact, Dreamy is the oldest, oh, and she... Oh, I see. Yes, when you need someone responsible, you have to take I'm the No, it when... was all really my fault. Mm -hmm. So it was all Fancy's fault, right? No, it's not true. Fancy asked us for help, and we... What are we? <laughs> Some lame trolls here who are out for themselves? We're not trolls. We're fairies. We're no fairies. <laughs> We're trolls. <laughs> <gasps> Dreamy, enough of that. Stop. All right, time's up. So are you ready to put everything back in place? Um, oh, we're ready! That's great to hear. Everything is upside down. We can tell feet from the ground. It's all in her love, a loo and row. We're all in each other's way. And we keep making mistakes. But when we stop fighting, we can conquer great heights. prices. so topsy-turvy now. For the power Or the numbers on your phone Perhaps a pedal in the butt I think not If we put our strengths together We will see success forever Everything will fall right into place But the matter's really easy And there is a simple law And it's for a real good reason They made it up so we'll follow If you wanna make it wonderful You do everything together Proper place. Lady Clockwork will be very pleased. Who was she anyway? Well, you should have asked uh -huh. for that right from the beginning, girls. Don't you think? How come you listen to a clockwork lady, yet you don't even know who I am? <sighs> My name is Terpsy Hooray, Eve Roll Gardenia Sierra Yes, I am. Whoa. No thanks. I don't need it. <laughs> oh, how very fantastic. Oh, wow. Tur T A? Tertia. I don't mean the name. What are you to us? I will be your new tutoress. Uh, I'll be in charge of your uh, education as of today. Eating? Yes, <gasps> eating too. And sweets are only after supper. Okay, mm. but where's Granny yeah, though? She was our tutor before. Uh, granny? <laughs> oh no, the humans are coming. <gasps> huh? Home, quickly, let's go. Starting tomorrow, we'll start our training at nine sharp. Now we'll have everything timed by a clock. Oh, well, that was an unexpected twist. But still, it was a good idea to call myself a teacher. Tertia, Tertia, what about a fairy tale? Uh, I'm in bed already. Fairy tales for you as well? Do I even know of any? Yes, Fanti, I'm coming. Katie, how did your first day go? Oh, the teacher complimented me for giving a good answer. And my new uniform is so nice and comfy. <gasps> I love yes. it! Hooray! The dinosaur book came in handy for the lesson, too. Everything was just great. I even had a good dream that helped me. The one about horsey corns. <gasps> huh? Yay! Uh, 
Everything's in place now. The prophecy has started to come true. The spilled dream, the overfilling sunlight, pink balls, and the book coming alive. Hmm, but what exactly does this symbol mean? Hmm.